Hello, world folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Prince Harry showed a moment of sadness during the coronation of King Charles on Saturday, a body language expert has claimed. The Duke's father and mother-in-law, Queen Camilla, were crowned during an extravagant ceremony at Westminster Abbey, while Harry sat in the third row alongside Prince Andrew, Eugene, Beatrice, and behind Princess Anne. And while Andrew was permitted to wear ceremonial robes, Harry did not wear military attire, opting for a suit instead. And body language expert Darren Statton has observed what he called a moment of sadness displayed by Harry as celebrations unfolded. Talking to Betfar Bingo, he said, Harry was confident and seemed generally quite elated throughout the ceremony. He showed signs of pride towards his father. However, during the procession as King Charles passed, Harry on his exit from the Abbey, Harry displayed fleeting moments of sadness within his facial expressions. He was on the outside looking on. It seemed Harry experienced feelings of nostalgia too. A noticeable moment was when Harry was seated in the Abbey. He was looking for a reassuring figure and appeared slightly out of sync compared to everyone else. We saw him adjusting his sleeves in a bid to reassure himself, a telltale pacifying gesture. Harry attended the coronation along with his wife, Meghan Markle, and stayed in California to be with Prince Archie Harrison, who was celebrating his fourth birthday. It was the first time Harry was in the UK and the family since the death of Queen Elizabeth. The Sussexes' recent criticism of life in the royal family seen relations between them and the royals reach rock bottom, but Mr. Stanton believes the Duke of Sussex felt compassion throughout the ceremony. He added he displayed signs of emotion and compassion throughout the ceremony which was no doubt challenging for him at times. However, as the ceremony played out, we see Harry ease in his stance and his expressions, his relaxed and gained more confidence appearing now than he did when he first arrived. And meanwhile, another body language expert has highlighted how Harry still showed a sense of humor while attending the coronation. He was even seen joking with Eugene and her husband, Jack Brooksbank. Body language expert Judy James told The Mirror, chatting to Edo, he then got some attention of Eugene and Jack, and we saw incredible return of the Joker Prince as Harry grinned and used the two hands cupped under his stomach to do what looked like a meme of Eugene's heavily pregnant state. After chatting with Eugene and Jack, Harry fell back to walk alone. He continued to display his confident and happy demeanor as he made his way up to the aisle, nodding, grinning, and chatting with people in the congregation. Miss James added, still smiling with his cheeks rounded, he then proceeded to perform a display of what he looked like a rather copy bravado. His striding walk looked jaunty as he pushed one side of his jacket before making his way up to the aisle, nodding, grinning, using his eyebrow flash rituals, chatting with people in the congregation as though signaling to the world he was upbeat, confident, and happy to be back. What do you think about this news? Do you think Harry and King Charles' relationship will end after the coronation? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling World updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.